Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Good morning. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on the Velder BB Show at the Y99 Studios. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. How's Great. everything in Dallas? Oh, it's cold and rainy today and I love it because ah. <laughs> it's usually hot and balmy. <laughs> so it's a great change. So but you're here to talk about medicine safety. Why during the holidays and what is medicine safety? Sure. So it's important to talk about uh, the safety and efficacy of medicines because in the last 30 days, 50% of Americans have taken at least one prescription drug. And if you're over 45, you may have taken up to four uh, daily. So we really want to make sure that all those medicines and vaccines that we're taking are uh, not only safe and, and effective, but that we know all the safety and efficacy information about those drugs so that doctors can prescribe the right drug for the right patient at the right time. Okay, I got a question. I'm going to take this one right away. That question was, because we talked about you coming on the show yesterday, the question was, when you get a flu shot, do you need to tell uh, uh, the doctor what medications you're taking? Because I'm going to a uh, pharmacy and no one asked me, what am I taking? I thought that was a good question. Yeah, so ideally pharmacies should have records of um, all of the prescriptions that you filled and they should be cross-checking that. Um, does that always occur? No, um, but it, it should, and you, bring, you raise a really important point. Um, okay. But the good pharma scorecard, what it looks at is um, making sure that those medicines that you do take, so that, it, that the pharmacy is aware that they're, they're dispensing to you, um, that all the safety and efficacy information about those drugs is publicly disclosed. Okay, great. What's, what other tip do we need to know? Because we need to be educated in this area. Yeah, so there's a real concern about the ethics of the pharmaceutical company, only about, about the ethics of the pharmaceutical industry. Only 10% of the U.S. population trusts that pharmaceutical companies are honest and ethical, and 90% think they put profits before people. And so at Bioethics International, we didn't think that that needs to be the case. That, so what we started to do is defining, we, set, we started defining ethical standards for pharmaceutical companies, so what a good pharmaceutical, what an ethical, patient-centered pharmaceutical company looks like, and then we benchmark pharmaceutical companies every year against those standards to ensure they're getting operationalized. So that's what we do. And this year we're focused on clinical trial transparency, meaning we evaluate whether all the safety and efficacy information for new drugs is publicly available. So we looked at all the drugs that the FDA approved in 2014 and we evaluated their clinical trial transparency. And what we found is that about 68% of the clinical trials conducted by a company to gain regulatory approval of a drug are publicly available. And if you only look at the trials conducted in patients, meaning you exclude the trials done in healthy volunteers, 96% of the clinical trials in patients were publicly available. And this was a huge jump from our last scorecard when only 80-something percent of trials in patients were publicly available. So we're starting to see greater and greater transparency, which is really important for public health. Okay, so is that making our final product, the drugs, a lot safer with the uh, making the information available to us? It is making the system a lot safer. It's making sure that your doctor has all the information they need to prescribe your drug. It's also making sure that your health insurance has all the information to value the drug and to decide whether to cover it on their formulary as well as hospitals. Um, we didn't just rank drugs. We also ranked pharmaceutical companies. Uh, we did this for two reasons. One, to recognize the pharmaceutical companies that are fully transparent, but also to encourage or incentivize uh, the lower scoring companies to join their high scoring peers to do better. And this year we're happy to report that two companies tied for number one. They both scored 
and those were J&J, &J, Johnson & Johnson, and Sanofi. Uh, so two of the 11 uh, companies scored 100%. That's really good because Johnson & Johnson has had a brutal past few years, and that's really good news for them. Let me ask you one more thing. This information, how can my audience put it together for them? Because it's a little bit technical for us. It is. So basically, you know your audience is concerned about whether pharmaceutical companies have their best interests um, prioritized. This, that's what the stats show. Most people think that companies are more focused on money than their own health. And for us, what you need to know is that Bioethics International is out there making sure that pharmaceutical companies are ethical, and patient-centered and putting them first. And we set a variety of standards to, to measure that and benchmark that over year after year. So if you're interested in knowing how your drug scores or how your company scores or what the different standards are that we look at, you can visit our, our website at www.bioethicsinternational.org. This is great information, Jen Miller, because as people choose their plans, I think this is something that we need to also consider, and no one's talking about this, so thank you for coming on the Valder Beebe Show. Thank you for having me.